Well, hello, my fabulous friends. I hope you're doing well. Well, with everything going on, I thought what a perfect time to check in and see how everybody's auras are doing. Um, when this amount of stress is going on, it can shift your aura. So let's see, are the royal family coping? Are they secretly stressed? Let's see what's going on. So the first one I'm going to um, choose is uh king charles he was the first one and then and uh yeah let's just go down the line let's just go down the line king charles what's king charles aura like what's king charles aura like right now you know he really doesn't look bothered <laughs> i'm telling you he really doesn't and that's what my gossip card said that they you know keep calm and carry on kate looks like she's taken a hit um i uh, you know you have to remember Kate's children are one day going to hit the internet and are they going to read that about their mother, right? Of course, they're going to know it's not true. Uh, but still, like Charles, he's his children are already growing up and, and one of them is part of the problem. Uh, so he doesn't have that concern. But one day, as much as, as they want to shelter their children, the internet's forever. Uh, what popped out here? Oh, apricot. Rejoice and laugh. <laughs> Rejoice and laugh. Yeah, I don't think King Charles is that bothered by it. And actually, apricot, well, that's orange. So that's your um, sacral. Uh, that's your, well, sacral's survival, um, creative. So I think he's just taking it. Uh, he's being creative with it. And he's keep calm and carry on. And uh, I know he's left it to the palace, what, what they were going to do. And... Uh, I, I honestly rejoice and laugh. Like, I think he is like an interesting apricot. That's Harry's hair right there. Um, he's, I think at this point, there's not much you can do to shake him. Um, I think he's over it. He's over it. All right. Good for you, King Charles. So now let's do Camilla. How is Camilla feeling about all of this? How's Camilla feeling about all this and the book? And they said something about her, like about her panties and like, come on. This was just a hit piece, just a hit piece. I do not understand why the Royals are not allowed to sue these people that say things about them. I mean, if I said any kind of malicious lies like that about Omid, you better believe I'd be sued. Um, so let's see. How's Camilla doing? How's she doing? How is she doing? What's her aura like? What's her aura like, Camilla? Oh, lavender. Connect to body, mind, and soul. Not bothered. Not bothered. This is actually uh, lavender. Well, that would be the um, almost the crown, wouldn't it? The crown. Yeah, the crown chakra. She's like, yeah, I'm the queen. What are you going to do about it? <laughs> not bothered. Camilla's not bothered. All right, let's get to William. How's William doing? How's William? What's William's aura looking like these days? Man, I imagine that jaw is clenched something fierce. Um, I bet he would love to rip his brother a new one. I know him. he probably <laughs> has behind closed doors. I actually, I don't want to wish Charles' life away, but I cannot wait till William is king and he puts Harry and Meghan, if they're still around in their place, because he will, he will, he, uh, if I were those two, that's who I would be afraid of. Maybe that's who, who they want their protection from. William, William, <sighs> cherry red. Yeah, he's mad as hell and he's not taking anymore. Live an extraordinary life. And I think that's what he's trying to do. Um, you know, he's off, he's doing his thing. He was selling those, you know, he was helping giving away those magazines. He was honoring his mother today. And then, of course, tonight, Catherine honored Diana as well by wearing uh, the tiara, the lover's not tiara. And uh, I think that was a big, big message back to um, Harry that uh, we're on the right side of history here. But Cherry, so this is his red. This is his root chakra. He is pretty angry. Pretty angry. When your red chakra, when your root chakra is flaring like that, that's uh, that's a lot of anger. 
Um, so even though it's cherry, it's still red. It's still, uh, yeah, he's hot. He's hot under the collar. That's for sure. Um, that's almost a Mars energy, like uh, warrior energy. I think we're, he, he's livid. He's livid. I'm not surprised to see he was red at all. Okay, so let's see. Catherine, what's her aura looking like? Catherine, what's her aura looking? Even though she's putting on a smile, I can you can tell it's it, it it's bothering her. And you have to remember, she wasn't raised um, keep calm and carry on. And you know she was at, raised for you know all those for almost twenty years. You, you know when someone strikes at you, strike back. So um, it's a learned behavior. It's not an innate behavior. So it might be difficult for her. Um, to spell, well, she's named. She's named. The fingers pointed at her. And she can't even say, I'm innocent. I didn't say anything. And let's see, Catherine, her aura. Rainbow connected to spirit in nature. This is very calming, isn't it? Very, very calming. Um, also, though, the thing with rainbow, it's all the colors are activated. So it can be a scattered energy, the rainbow. Um, because you have there's not one color that actually is more prominent. Um, so it's it's like, yes, it's a balanced color, but it's also when you have all of them on... on uh, on maximum it can can feel kind of scattered um let's see if the if they will tell us what is which which color is the most which color is the most right now most activated which color is the most activated it's like it, like full body anxiety when all colors are activated and, and spinning and they're always spinning, but when they're all activated at the same time, uh, that can feel like, like high anxiety, anxiety can feel the scattered feeling. Let's see. Is there one that is more active than the other? Is there one that's more active than the other? Oh, lavender connect to body, mind, and soul. So the crown, so the crown. Um, so, I, you know, in some respects, she's starting to calm down. So it's starting to calm down from the head, head down. So um, I think she has to work with a little bit with her connect the mind, body and soul. So if she's on high anxiety, um, I think she's doing things, maybe some massages, um, talking to people, trying to calm herself down, might even have some lavender uh, you know, in her room to calm her down. Uh, she might, because Camilla has this as well, she might be talking to Camilla a lot, right? Because Camilla went through a lot of um, finger pointing and, and things were said about her and she couldn't respond to them. So she might be connecting with, with Camilla over this. Camilla's experience might be helping her how to deal with the media, how to deal with things that aren't true about you, things that people say that aren't true. Uh, so that was kind of nice to see. Let's see. What's Harry doing? What's Harry? We'll do Harry, Megan, then we'll do Omid. I don't think the other royals are that bothered with it. Um, you know, they're probably, oh, shame. But uh, I don't think they're losing any sleep over it. Harry. What's Harry's aura like right now? What's Harry's aura like right now? What's the main color of Harry's aura right now? What's the main color of Harry's aura right now? Oh, rainbow. He's also high anxiety. He's also um, scattered energy. All all systems go. Uh, you know, as much as you think that would be so nice, it'd be balanced. No, it's not. You're vibrating. You're vibrating. Um, good. You put you put Catherine in that, then you do that too. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I'm being Betty. Let's see. Does Harry have a, a color, a, an aura, a chakra that's actually um, stronger than the others? That's very interesting that Catherine and Harry have they have the same same um, whole body vibration going on. 
Yeah, you you don't want you don't want that. That as nice as that looks, you don't want that. You don't want that. You want sometimes some of your your chakras to just be nice and calm, not not vibrating all at the same time. Tangerine, be spontaneous and have fun. Well, this is orange as well. This is chakra, chakral, the your chakra, chakra. Um, so this is uh, creative. Be spontaneous and have fun. Well, and he's also a ginger as well. Um, he, uh, also, the the chakra chakra can be survival. Um, that can be your survival. But uh, yeah, so the orange one is actually be spontaneous and have fun. I wonder. I wonder. I think this this is part of this creativity, how to get out of this create with creativity. I think they're thinking of ways to, to get out of this. Okay, so let's do Megan. Megan's chakra color or aura. Megan's main aura color. Megan's main aura color. Megan's main aura color. Peach. Inhale a breath of life. Well, she probably, probably a lot of people who don't want her to have the next breath, but uh, sorry, I'll have to edit that out. Um, so Peach would also be orange. So that's interesting that her and Harry are vibrating uh, lower the lower chakra along with, with Charles. But I think she's also trying to come up with creative ways how to get out of this. Um, not as much as Harry. Not as much as Harry. I think she's more um, inhale a breath of life. I think I think like she's taking like deep breaths and figuring out what her next move is. This green also reminds me kind of like of that hat she was wearing. Um, I think I think they're both in survival mode right now, um, not knowing what to do. Um, they're more in the physical, um, but not Megan. Not as much. She doesn't seem to be as bothered as much. Let's see what Omid is like. What Omid, what's Omid like? Also, Peach is a lighter color. Um, so I'm not getting that that she has like a very strong energy right now. She might be energy depleted. Let's see. What's Omar? Omid. His real name's Omar. Omid Scobie. Omar. You know, look who's who's who bleaches his skin so he doesn't look like he's Middle Eastern and, and calls everybody else racist. Well, obviously, he's racist against his own people. Omar. 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 Omid Scobie. Aqua. Experience peace and calm. Yeah. That is, isn't he? Didn't he say he's he's frustrated as well? But he's left the UK. He's left the UK back for LA. So I'm wondering if he's sitting by a swimming pool. Um, experience peace and calm. Aqua. That's the heart chakra too. Um, this is really interesting. Why would he be peace and calm? Does he know there's no way anybody will find out? anything or does he know like he's peaceful and calm because he knows he's not going to get sued he can say whatever he wants and he's not going to get sued I think this is very interesting but at the same time you know what I'm seeing here um brain synapse going off so I wonder if he's doing like some meditation to experience peace and calm um experience peace and calm the heart chakra ah this is very interesting you know why are they not why is omid well harry's uh, harry's vibrating he's he's scattered uh he's got high anxiety um he's in survival mode with the orange chakra there um flailing on him um but that's so interesting that omid and Megan aren't. Are they that sure of themselves? Are they that sure of themselves that they aren't going to get caught? They aren't going to be sued? 
Um, they're just like chill, chill pill. Very interesting. The clock agrees with me. It's kind of maddening, isn't it? Thank you very much for spending this time with me. I sure hope uh, you appreciate it, this reading. Um, I know I did. Put a whole new kind of spin on things. Why is Harry the one who's panicking the most? Think about that. And I think I did a reading that showed Harry had his uh, finger in the pie way, way, way deeper than Megan did. Take good care. See you online. Bye for now. <laughs> Mm-hmm. <laughs>